Hello and welcome to More Gaming. I'm your host, Joe Zamora here, and we are officially kicking off our next episode or stream of our God damn it, I just it's on the screen right here. I don't know why I blanked. Our Pokemon Shield Pokemon Egg Lock. And of course, I am your host, Joe Zamora. So please kick back, relax, go grab a bag of popcorn or whatever else you would like and enjoy the stream we're just gonna do a quick recap in case you didn't follow through to the end of the episode we did do some um, egg hatching towards the end and thanks to Dusty we uh, unlocked two of our favorite Pokemon here we have Champ the Charmeleon Ooh, Jesus then next we evolved our Lycanroc Dusk Lone Wolf Thanks to Nerese, we unlocked the name Bolsom. Well, he gave us the name Bolsom. For our Sylveon. Edward Scissorhands, of course, is still on the team. We have Alice the Luxio. And last but not least, our starter, our most beloved Pokemon to this point, is Shelly the Shellos. And hopefully we can get everyone up to level 30 before the next gym. Because that would be amazing. And of course, everyone's around that level. But we also got to figure out uh, exactly... Oh, what, is, what is it called? Exactly the levels we need to stop at before we reach the gym. Because we don't want to be too overpowered. And also, guys, as I'm starting here, I would like to remind y'all, please leave a like, follow if you haven't, and share the stream if you can. It'd be much, very appreciated for me. Welcome, Zach, for watching. How you doing, man? Please leave a like, follow if you can, and share if you don't mind. And yes, Shellos is still kicking. Uh, no close calls that I can remember of so far. So, pretty much, uh, your Shellos is pretty much... Uh, I keep saying the same shit. Shellos is putting on a good showing right now. And right now, we just got to uh, the new city. We just finished beating the first three gyms. So now we're on our way to beat the next few gyms over here. And of course, we have to waste time and come to the cutscenes and all. Trying to uh, figure out what's going on here. And they're going to give us a little backstory on the legends. Alright, Poseidon. That's a really good name. Especially since he can absorb water and raise a special attack. So that's a great nickname. Everyone kind of just kept calling it Shelly here, so I kind of just stuck with the name. And also, uh, guys, I'd like to give a shout out to Glitch City... Glitch X City on YouTube. These are her songs. Um, she allows anybody to use her music. It's not copyrighted. It's nothing like that. So go ahead, go visit her on YouTube. Give her a like and a comment if you don't mind. Or even subscribe and check out all the cool songs she has. But um, yeah, my volume isn't working, so this is what I'm resorting to for now. Ugh, why is my controller laggy? Sonya, I don't care about the legends, okay? But happy Friday, everybody. How are y'all doing today? Hopefully everyone is doing quite alright. And let's go ahead and tag a few people to give them a heads up. So give me one second to do that. Press. Let's see. Get the attention of our most frequent viewers here. And y'all can enjoy the music real quick. While I do this, it's not gonna take long. I'm almost done. 
Alrighty, now we can go ahead and continue on. And let's go ahead and move on to the next route and get us some eggs to hatch. I know we have at least three more. Oh man, more cutscene. Alright, now we're done here, hopefully. But I know we're going to have more cutscenes over here, so ugh. I am so not ready. And at the top of the list right now, we do have Shelly. That's who we'll be using. Let's go ahead and check out if we have any items to give to these wonderful Pokemon on our team. We got Charm. Don't need it. Uh, will -O Don't need it. Whew, excuse me. I'm very sluggish right now. Today was tough. Uh, by name, let's see. For now, let's give Edward the amulet coin. No. Let's go ahead and give charcoal to Char Million. Uh, let's Dynamax candy as many people as we can. Especially these Pokemon. Uh, Charizard, of course. Oh, no, no, no. Didn't mean to do that. Let's go ahead and use it on Alice. We've used Alice a couple times to Dynamax. And we'll save those for when we need them. Let's go ahead and give Expert Belt to Lone Wolf here. And for Blossom, let's see, what could come in handy? Let's see, let's see, nope, nope. Come on, controller, you're lagging. It's nothing to give it, really. So let's just not worry about that right now. All right, let's move on to the route and see what we catch here. And music is really loud in my head, so I'm gonna lower it a little bit. It's the jams, but it's too fucking loud. Uh, let's see, and yeah, we gotta fight these goofballs over here. He literally has a big ass clothespin on the back of his jacket. Oh, how polite. They let the old grandma through, but they're not letting us through. Your bloody coins. Alright, so I don't know what they're doing here, and I don't care to know. I just want Team Yell to be off the face of the earth right now. And hello and welcome to anyone who has joined so far. Please leave a like. Leave a follow, I'm trying to get to the goal of 100 followers. It's the last thing I need to start uh, monetization eligibility here on Facebook. So, if you guys would mind helping me out, go ahead, leave a follow if you haven't, share where you can, and also leave a like on the video. Alrighty, let's see here. We have a stunky, stunky. Oh wait, the the sun is out. So let's go ahead and go for an ancient power. This is one of my favorite mixes from Glitch City. We didn't get no boost, did we? Disrespect. And of course we get the flinch, but at least we get some leftovers recovery back, which is always good. 
All right, so poison gas comes off here. And Shelly at least won't flinch this time. Let's go ahead and get that ancient power boost. Come on, baby. We've used this move plenty of times and we still haven't gotten it that much. But now that we're poisoned, that uh, leftovers is kind of just nullifying the effects. Even then, it looks like uh, the poison does a little bit more damage than the leftovers recovers. Hello and welcome everybody. We are over here taking on Team Yell and they're stunky. Not getting our uh, boost at all. We've used the move like four times already. You would think we'd get some kind of boost. Let's just go ahead and finish off with an ancient power here. Whoa! Take your chill pill. So Stunky finally goes down. Oh, now we get the boost when we're near death. Thanks. That was real useful. Um, let's see. Does he have another Pokemon? Apparently he does. So Leftovers goes off before the poison, which ensures we live. And yeah, that poison's doing more than the leftovers. So we're gonna go ahead and switch out here, even though we have the boost. We do not want to um, lose Shelly here, so we're gonna keep her safe. And bring in Lone Wolf to make his debut. Alright, we got a mighty. We have a mighty dark normal type. And we're going to go ahead and Excel Rock here. Oh, wow. Our attack fell. I, I didn't see what happened there, but I think it went for a growl. But let's go ahead and go for an Excel Rock again anyway. Ooh, and that Night Slash really did some damage, but we should be fine. Let's just go ahead and go for another Excel Rock here. All right, so I went for baby doll eyes, now I see. And normally that is a priority move, but our priority move is faster. So Excel Rock goes off once again, does just enough to knock out that Linoon, and we can move on with our lives, hopefully. He asked. Interestingly. All right, so we beat the Blimey Bloke. One second. Whew, excuse me. Sorry about that. I think I'll leave this to you, Joe. He lost to freaking Team Yell. How pathetic. Did we at least get to heal our Pokemon? Because if not, that's a problem. So we have a vicious Lightbird out on the field versus us. And we did not get to heal. <sighs> Come on, laggy controller. God damn it. All right. So we're going to go ahead and send out our Balsam here. Because we need a super effective attack on this god dang thing. And it goes for an assurance. We should be fine. Good thing it did not go for nasty plot. That could have put us in a nasty hole. So Fury Swipes comes off. And we cute charm. So that's nice. But it's not going to stop its attack now. But it only hits two times. So it's not too bad. And Dazzling Gleam, Dazzling Gleam goes off. Oh, and gets a critical hit. Lightbird goes down. And beautiful. We get a level up. Level 29. Poison is rough. Yes, it is, Sean. Welcome to the stream. And uh, I know you haven't watched much, so please leave a like if you can. Follow if you don't mind. We're trying to reach the goal of 100 followers so I could be uh, eligible for the monetization of Facebook. And share where you can if you do not mind at all. But welcome to the stream, of course. We are here with our Egglock team. And we just finished beating team up, beat up, bleh, 
beating up Team Yell. And now I gotta go back and heal. And then this is where Hop realizes he sucks as a trainer. And he's fighting his demons. And he needs to call the mental health hotline because, uh, yeah, he's he's going through it. But we're also going through it because our shallows is poisoned. So let's go ahead and fix that up right here, right now, by running back to the Pokemon Center. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Drag Queen Professor Oak. Opal, I don't have time to talk to you right now. So if you wouldn't mind getting the fuck out of my face, you old bat, I need to go heal my Pokemon. Let's see. <laughs> he needs a better brother. Yeah, for real though. Um, let's go ahead and heal up real quick. And let's go ahead and hopefully heal soon. Oh, this game is so slow. Here we go. Pokemon Center's right here. And our team is going to be all fixed up here in a second. And give me one second, guys. I got to check on something. Sorry for the delays here. All right, sorry about that, guys. I am back, and let's go ahead and continue on with our Nuzlocke journey by going to catch Pokemon on the next route, because we need some eggs. We need to hatch some eggs, I should say. And, of course, this is going to do a little cutscene here again. And what you looking for? Oh. Uh, and here we have a battle. UT Anita is gonna go down here. Alright, so Clefairy comes out and Shellos is here. But due to the sun being out, it's probably not our best lead. So we're gonna go ahead and switch out here if my controller will stop being fucking retarded. And let's go ahead and go to Edward here. Damn it, this controller. Uh, it's connecting. What the hell just happened there? Okay, so our accuracy is down, and for some reason my controller is being retarded. Uh, is it not connecting? There we go. Okay, we're fine now. So Metaclaw is going to pop off here. And, uh, of course, Clefairy avoids the attack with one accuracy drop. And Shadow Punch comes off. Does not do much because we've just resisted. And let's go ahead and kill it with this Metal Claw, please. Metal Claw. Metal Claw. And it does do a one-hit KO to the Clefairy. Goes down. And everyone is gaining EXP. Clefable is here. Let's go ahead and give this thing a mighty metal claw. Excuse me. And it does a pretty good amount of damage, but she also goes for metronome with this. Hopefully it's not a fire type move. T 
cheerful look should lower my special defense, I believe. Okay, it lowers everything. Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and switch out to bal Balsam here, not Balossum. And let's see what uh, Balsam can do here. I know we have Swift, so we'll see how that goes. And of course, she goes for another metronome, which is ridiculous. And she gets the Mind Reader, which allows it to hit um, Dark type Pokemon, I believe, with Psychic type moves. No, wait, that's Miracle Eye. I'm stupid. That, uh, whatever it used, I forgot the name already. Jesus Christ, did it just use Giga Drain? Just faint already, Clefable. Get out of my sight. There's only room for one fairy in this town, and that's Balsam. But yeah, the the move it used it did something. I already forgot. That's how unimportant it was for me. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and move on here, and we need to figure out what level. Uh, Dusty, I'm streaming for. 40 more minutes and I need to check uh, what level the next gym is gonna be level of sword leaders Pokemon Alright, so we have a Yamask. You better wear your mask. And we're gonna throw a quick ball. Hopefully we don't have to really um, fight it for realsies. And thanks to that, now we fucking have to fight it for realsies. Okay, so... We can get our Pokemon up to level 36, which is beautiful, because that means most of our team will be evolved at that point. Sun is out. Water Pulse shouldn't kill it. Yeah, not even close. It goes for a Hex on us, which is shouldn't do much, because our special defense is pretty beefy. And we get some health back. Thank you for whoever shared. It didn't tell me who did. But I very much appreciate it. And thank you, Sean, for dropping that follow. We are one step closer to our goal. 51 more people can help us get there. Owen oh, is going for a crafty shield here. Let's see. Water Pulse. Does it still do the damn thing? Not really. But we do have it down in the yellow now, so let's hope it's enough to uh, get the encounter here. Jesus. And let's go. No, no, no. Not Dust Ball. I clicked that by accident. Yep. It's sunny as hell. It's not going to be caught there. But we are mean looked. I believe it already mean looked us before. But at least we get some help back. I meant to click a uh, great ball here. And it didn't stay in. Okay, crafty shield again. I do not remember exactly what the hell that does, but I must do something because it's going for it. Let's just go ahead and throw in the great ball here. This is probably the most boring part of an egg lock, is trying to catch Pokemon on the route. There we go. Got your mask. Better wear it if you're going to go to Walmart. And Champ grew to level 31, which is amazing, because he's one step closer to being a Charizard. Alright, so we have your mask in the box. I don't have any status moves on this team right now, which is probably my downfall. And if anyone were to have it, it'd be Alice here. And Thunder Wave wouldn't, uh, well, yeah, I don't have it. But Thunder Wave would be the move to use. 
And it against a ground type, it wouldn't have mattered either way. Jesus Christ, why is there so many of masks here? I guess it's really trying to tell us that COVID is real. So wear your mask. Wear your mask. All right, we gone. And let's go ahead and switch up our lead because uh, it's not working out, dog. It's just not. Let's go ahead and put Balsam up. At least none of these Pokemon can evade, I mean, are resistant to its moves. And the sun won't block out its moves from being used. Oh my god! I'm tired of these, you mask. Yeah, I, I do really need to work on getting us some status moves on this team. Alright, here we go. Oh, good thing we did not jump there. Let's go ahead and figure out the two Pokemon we want on this squad. And we are in an area where there is a lot of ground types. And just realized we have a bunch of ground weaknesses on our team. But uh, Shelly's going to help us out here. Battling is better in doubles, apparently. According to this guy. Alright, okay. That's not too bad. We have a Ponyard and... A Togetic. I don't know why I couldn't say the name. But, I am afraid of that still tight move. So, we're going to go ahead and switch out... Balsam. With... I just did it. I don't know why I can't talk. We're going to switch it out with Alice because it will be resisted. And we're going to attack the Togetic with the Water Pulse to try to confuse it. Ooh, and, oh, no. That's not good at all. Defiant is boosting its attack. So it is technically plus one now. Alright, so Togetic does get that... Uh, Oh my gosh, that plus one is no joke. Togetic does get confused and it does hit itself in confusion, which is beautiful. Now we're going to go ahead and give it a mighty spark to the Togetic and we're going to water pulse the Ponyard as well. Hopefully we confuse that one too so it can hit itself in confusion. And we get a critical hit on the Togetic. Amazing, amazing, beautiful time to get it. Whew. All right. Well, Sean, how you been, man? I know it's been a while. We're supposed to do some... Uh, what do you call it? We're supposed to do something on uh, YouTube together. But you've been pretty busy. How's life? Ponyard gets hit. Fury Cutter comes off. And dang, that does a lot of damage. So what we're going to do is heal with Alice. And... Just keep attacking with Shelly. Water Pulse. And I do know Fury Cutter does get uh, does hit harder each move, but I wonder if that counts even if he switches targets. All right, we're going to Super Potion Shelly here. And we're going to go for another Water Pulse. Alice is fine. It's fully healed. And Water Pulse is actually doing some pretty good damage. All right, Sean. That's awesome. Maybe we can get a Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, oh, no. Shelly. Whew. Shelly hangs on with the 9 HP. And I believe we're just going to double attack this thing. Because that is scary. Alright, Ponyard goes down. Yeah, I noticed it counted. <laughs> it kept smacking me around. Holy shnikes. 
Well, it's very good that it hung on with the 9 HP. And we are going to get a mighty Luxray. Alice is grown up now. Oh, grown up. Luxray is all grown up. We evolved it from a Shinx all the way up to a Luxray. And now we have a mighty fearsome tiger cat on our team. And we should probably heal up Shelly real quick. Unless uh, we just beat the doctor, right? Maybe he can heal us. Get off the bike, you stupid ass. Nope. Okay, well, anyway, let's go ahead and heal up ourselves. Um, here we go. Super Potion, baby! We bought a lot of them for this reason only. I mean, for this reason, for sure. So I knew it was going to happen. Alright, here we go. Balsam is all caught up. And then let's walk past this lady for now. Go get our TM. And we can get this lady to make us... Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Excuse me. We can let, make that lady up there uh, get us a fossil Pokemon whenever we have the fossil pieces. And that can get us another egg. It's over here. Nothing? Then why make this area? It's a waste of space. Could have put her somewhere more relevant. Oh, uh, get away from me. Whoop, juke. Light clay. That could come in handy. Juke. No, juke. Ah, just kidding. I'm a. Ah, oh, damn it. See what I get for playing around? Ooh, a Duskull. I don't remember seeing this in this area. But, um, let's go ahead and run away because we already have our encounter here. And we're going to battle this lady here. Because we need that EXP to get Shelly up a level so we can have a mighty Gastrodon. Alright, so Sock comes out, which is beautiful because we have our fairy type up front. So very smart on our part to totally read that. I did that on complete on purpose. So it is faster, so it gets the double kick off here. But we will counter it with a dazzling gleam, and it should knock it right out. Oh, sturdy? No, it just lived on one. Let's just go ahead and kill it with another dazzling gleam. It goes for a bulk up, which is pointless. This is not the anime. That doesn't help you as much as you would think. Dazzling Gleam shoots off, and down goes Sock to the little fairy doggy. Alright, Shelly grew to level 30, so that means Gastrodon is here! Bloom, 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 bloom. Yeah, she really did get greedy. She went for bulk up with one HP. It's like, lady, what are you doing? But we have our mighty shiny Gastrodon here. Shelly is all grown up as well. And I feel like this is the time to, you know, pretty much get the rest of our team up here. I think, uh, really... Edward is going to be the last Pokemon evolved. I think it evolves at level 48, but I could be wrong. Let's just go ahead and come this way and avoid all that mess. And fight Beyonce over here. Oh, I was going for the shiny, shiny looking thing. All right, so we have Model Nicola. Nicola! And she sends out a Skoruppy, which is not a good matchup for Bolsom here. So we're going to go ahead and switch out to our Edward scissor hands here. And as of right now, Skoruppy is Poison Bug. 
and we avoid all poison type attacks because we are awesome and we're just gonna go for a meaty metal claw and that does not as much as I thought it would but the score Ruppy is getting greedy here and going for the attack boost what will we do here I don't think bug resists dark type so we're gonna go ahead and jump her Pokemon Oh my god, I guess it uh, kind of resists it, because it's not doing as much damage as I thought it would. Can I get two more hits? One more hit. Ooh, baby. Down goes Scoruppy. You were trying to kill my fairy puppy. So you shall be destroyed. Alright, so we do have uh, a Ponyard coming in, or did... Was it upon you said? Either way, we're gonna give Charmillion is day blue day blue debut. I can't fucking talk today. Jesus Christ. The heat must be getting to me over here. And we're gonna go for our mighty flamethrower in the sun. And should be a one-hit KO. Ponyard goes down, and Charmillion's debut is a one-hit KO attack. Alright, Bolsom is leveling up and so is Lone Wolf. We're getting our team pretty much to the levels we need to. It's doing really good. And we found two rare bones. But anyway, it's kind of useless to us. I guess we can sell it for items later, but... Eh, not something I really care about right now. And I'm going to shake this tree because you never know what comes out of it. Um, shake it one more time. All right, I'm done. Citrus, Persian, Rost. Do I have a berry that I need here in this game? I'm going to check real quick. All right, I don't have it, so... Oh, well. Dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel, dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel. Okay, here we go. We're going to avoid this lady. If we can't, no, get away from me. I don't want to battle anything right now. What's the matter with you? And we get the TM for Steel Wing, which is okay, I guess. I don't know who I'm going to teach it to. But now we can come this way here uh, and avoid her again. Come down here and get that shiny little blinker that I saw. Ooh, piece of candy. Literally. I normally just say that for gaffs and goofs, but there was actually a rare candy there. And we're not going to waste time fighting wild Pokemon. So, be gone, thought! And let's go ahead and fight this lady up here. And you know what? Nah, I shouldn't. You know what? Let's do this instead. Alice, make your debut as a beautiful, beefy Luxray. Are you a fan of curry? No, I am not. In game or in real life. Uh, it's just not something that appeals to me. And we have a throw here. Good thing Luxray is not part dark type like most of you people would like. Because that would totally destroy me if it was. And now we can go for a play rough. I forgot we had this move. And it does a good amount of damage. Not enough, but a good amount. Storm throw, I believe, throws us out. Oh no, it just always lands in a crit, but it makes him go last. But play rough again should do the trick. And throw goes down. Alrighty here. Edward wants to learn metal sound, but we're not with that trash. Backpacker Ruth has gone down. So I don't know if there's enough people around here to actually get our Pokemon up to 36. So I don't know if we'll actually get there in time. For, to face the gym leader, I mean. A dark electric starter would be nice. Uh, I think they should make like a... Well, never mind. That's stupid. I'm an idiot. 
there's a dark electric Pokemon based off Pikachu. I was going to say make a, a, a variant of Pikachu. Like they have Galarian forms and Alolan forms. They should make a like a Galarian Pikachu that's dark type. Oh, why did I go for play rough? I meant to click spark. But that does a good amount to coughing and also lowers its attack. So I guess it's not too bad. Oh my god, it's negative two. It does self-destruct though. And it does nothing. Whew. Thank you, negative two attack. That was freaking scary, yo. You fucking maniac. What's the matter with you? I'm trying to kill my Pokemon? Let's go ahead and bring Shellos in here. <laughs> that thing don't count. Yeah, I, I guess uh, more Pico is kind of whack. I mean, I like it. It did supporting. It, it gets parting shot, and its special move is pretty cool because it boosts its speed each time it uses it, and it also switches typing. So I mean, it has a niche if you want to fuck around with it. But I mean, other than that, you're kind of just left with you know a lesser version of Pikachu. Pseudo Udo hangs on thanks to the sun, but hopefully it knocks us out and knocks itself out in confusion. <sighs> I can't talk. Jesus. All right, so everyone gains levels, which is nice. Lone Wolf is still the only one sitting there in an ugly level 29. We need to get that thing to level 30 right here, right now. I guess not right here, right now. And look, the Diglities, Diglities, trio, trio, trio. The Doug Trio ruins everything. They ruin everything. And I don't know why they made that a cutscene, but whatever. Let's go ahead and come here. And hopefully we can sell our Great Balls now and get Ultra Balls, because that would be much, much better for us. And we do got to hatch a couple of eggs, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, we still can't get no goddamn Ultra Balls, but, you know, Great Balls are here. Great. Ten. Let's just get ten so we can get a Premier Ball. <laughs> yeah, I, a lot of people are missing Gliscor in this game, for sure. So... I mean, I know people wouldn't be mad about it if they would have brought uh, more Pico. I mean, they would have brought Gliscor instead of making a more Pico. But you do gotta admit that, you know, each game's gonna come with a Pico clone no matter what. So, we're kind of screwed on that part. Hey, look, a Pokemon vendor. Oh, no, it's not selling anything. Pokemons have jobs, yeah, but they suck at them because I'm trying to buy something and won't sell it to me. All right, let's come around here. Ooh, Doug Trio, or just a bunch of Diglets, I should say. And let's go ahead and go up here and assassin screed time, baby. We jump, we going parkour. Now oh, look at this guy commit trying to commit suicide here. Ooh, we could have traded a Maractus for an Impidimp. That would have been cool. But at least we got Metal Coat here. And we're parkouring down this building. TM Venal Shock, which could come in handy, but not for any of the Pokemon we have on the team right now. And again, we're parkouring. We're going to Assassin's Creed this game now. But I guess we're done with that. Let's go ahead and come in here and see if we can get any items. And sorry guys if I'm a little low energy compared to what I'm normally used to streaming at. Uh, for a short week it felt really long and just tired. A lot of jobs were done. Oh my god, do we have to fight Hop right now? Oh, I guess. 
yeah it did it gets some um, uh, water absorb and chlorophyll if I'm correct and then it gets one useless one doesn't it but yeah it just looks like a stupid Pokemon that's why most people don't like it but all right we have a Cramorant here which is uh, four times dead to my spark so we're gonna go for spark and of course it's faster but it misses so Alice can hit it with a freaking spark attack right here right now taking no damage in return and down goes Cramorant all right Lone Wolf is almost there I didn't see what Pokemon it was sending out but let's go ahead and send out Lone Wolf anyway throw it to the wolves but it is a wolf oh still Cobra I'm sure we could handle that. Let's just go ahead and go for a Crush Claw. I don't think you would have any really good ground type moves at this point. I mean, other than Dig, but we can always switch out for that. Alright, so now it officially does go for Dig. And excuse me, I was drinking water. And if you have not drank water today, please do so. This has been your public service announcement by water. Just kidding. But yes, water is very important, so drink it. Alright, Shelly's going to be able to take this dig pretty well. We get that leftover, so it's basically like we got hit by nothing. And then we can go for a water pulse here. Great. Goes for a super potion. Hop, this is why nobody likes you. You trash at Pokemon, and then you make the battle go longer than it should. Down goes Soul Cobra. And we get some health back as well, thanks to the leftovers. And Thwacky is coming in. And we're going to teach that little shit not to ever cross our path again. By sending out the fearful champ. Charmeleon. So it's teenager versus teenager in this episode. Flamethrower goes off. And down goes the wacky. And Lone Wolf is finally level 30 with the rest of us, so that's great to see. And Toxel's coming in. So let's go ahead and go back out to Shelly here. <coughs> Excuse me. Whew. That snuck up on me. Alright, so Toxel comes in here. Oh, it's a little cute, stupid Pokemon that's about to die. Ancient power, here we go. Oh, didn't quite take it out, but it was a critical hit. No boost for us. And Hop is gonna use acid. Dude, you shouldn't use drugs. I get you're depressed, but calm down, man. Going too far. So using acid and whatnot. Let's put you out of your misery with some water. Sorry, Sean. It needs to be done. I would like to see the baby. Turner Hop has been defeated because he still sucks. You tried very hard, but you couldn't win. You were rubbish. And you should throw yourself in a dumpster and live there like Crazy Joe from Shark Tales. That child, the challenger should be for the sake of their own Pokemon. Why worry about saving the champion's name? We all know he's unbeatable. Anyway, here's something for letting me watch a battle. Alistair's Lee card. Opal, I really don't give a shit. Please leave my sight. Well, I guess no one wanted to see us win a gym 
gym badge today other than Sean. But let's see if we can actually get there. Because <clears throat> I know we have quite a bit to go. And I do want to hatch those two eggs before we completely start. And our Pokemon still ain't at the level they should be. Because, uh, 36 is 36. Alright, here we go. Let's come this way. We get a Dusk Stone, which is very important in evolving Pokemon such as a Lantern and such. Why can't I get up this building? I need to get up this building. Oh, here it is. Alright, guys. We are park oaring here. Oh, look. More Diglett. They must be beloved over here. And we got a cracked pot. Don't don't really use crack pot, guys. That's don't don't use any form of crack or pot. It's bad for the brain. Yes, we do have eggs. And if anyone still wants to submit some eggs, please feel free to do so by commenting to me. Here, you can message me here on Zamora Gaming Facebook or you can be in my uh, Facebook group, uh, PML, and contact me in the group chat, because that's pretty probably the best case scenario. But I will see any messages y'all send through Zamora Gaming as well. And I don't know why I came out here. I don't need to go to the goddamn PC to get eggs. So let's go ahead and swap out a few Pokemon here. Of course, not permanently, because this is just... Uh, what do you call it? This is just so I can hatch the two eggs that we just caught. So basically, let's see, where did those Pokemon go? We got the Yamask. I could have swore I caught another Pokemon too. Didn't I catch another Pokemon? Or am I losing my goddamn mind? Oh no, I said we could have had a second. Ugh. I'm an idiot. Okay, well, anyways, no, no, don't do that, <sighs> Jesus, there we go, now we can actually get the Pokemon we want, and we will use, let's just go ahead and use this top egg right here, I believe it's Jeremy's egg, so let's go ahead and hatch it and see what's inside. And there's not really a place where we can get a second encounter as well, so let's just go ahead and do this. <clears throat> I want to wear Bronzong on my head! And then he just falls and crushes the kid and kills him. Yeah, that's what you get for playing around with fucking Bronzong. Alright, let's go ahead and dust these fools. Oh wait, look, there's another ladder. I didn't even notice this. Hold on, what's down here? I mean, we're still gonna hatch the egg eventually. But, I wanna see what's over here. Oh, it's just an item. Ooh, piece of candy. Three rare bones! Give your mom a rare bone. Rocky helmet! That could come in handy on one of our Pokemon here. Well, I guess all these Pokemon already have items, so. So much for that! What a disappointment. Alright, let's go ahead and keep rolling around here until this egg hatches. And here we go. Let's see what it is. Sean, get your nicknames ready. And it is a duplicate Pokemon! So, we get to switch this out for uh, another egg, because we already have a Ponyard, so let's go ahead and switch that up real quick. Check boxes. I don't know why. Oh, stupid, stupid, stupid. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and... I think we've had two duplicate Ponyards already. <clears throat> But, um, oh, here we go. This egg hatched much faster. 
and let's see what it is. And it's a duplicate Charmander. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nares, for sending this Charmander in. But it is a duplicate, so we are going to switch it out again. I mean, it doesn't hurt to check out the Charmander, though. It's Blaze with Timid Nature. That's, that's not bad at all. That's how I run most of my Charmanders. Let's go ahead and give Nares one more try. And if we just end up with a bunch of duplicates, I mean, we end up with a bunch of duplicates and we'll need some more eggs from our viewers. So hopefully we'll get some over the weekend. At least before Wednesday. I do plan on streaming on Sunday. I know I normally stream Wednesday and Saturday. But, you know, I have plans for tomorrow. And I decided I might as well give y'all a show today. And possibly on Sunday, just depends. I will be watching football. So I don't know if I'm going to cut into that schedule. So we'll just have to see. And let's go ahead and try to hatch this egg real quick. And also, guys, if you are still following and watching, please leave a follow so we can reach our goal of 100 followers. Leave a like because it is very nice to do. And share if you can, so you and your friends can enjoy these streams. And we got a duplicate Barboach. So, I think Nares gave us a Barboach already, and I guess he forgot. Because that's the second Barboach we get. So let's go ahead and switch this Barboach out. And try to hatch this last egg. Also guys, just wanted to give you a heads up. Um, these dittos are a hundred, I mean, these dittos are perfect IV. Some are adamant, modest, timid, jolly, whatever. It just depends. Very much a face palm. <laughs> but, yeah, so you do get something in return for the eggs that you send in. So hopefully I get some eggs soon. And here we go, the egg is hatching. Oh, please tell me I recorded this episode. Okay. Whew. And we have a Chansey! Dusty has sent us in one of his favorite Pokemon. For sure, his favorite normal type. And it is going to be... It's going to be nicknamed... Let's see. It's a girl. Uh, Sean, what do you think we should name this thing? Should we name it Face Palm? <laughs> I'll go ahead and let you. Let's see if. Uh, you can help us figure out a good nickname for this Chansey here. And the good news is, if we do need this Chansey, we do get the Eviolite pretty soon. All right. Nares has, I mean, sorry, Sean has answered. And we're going to go with the nickname, A Thick. Because she's thick and shoosy. So, all right. We officially have a Chansey to add to the slot. And let's go ahead and check out what level this Yamask was. Level 30. So let's go ahead and level it up. Ugh. <sighs> level it up to level 30. And let's go ahead and use one extra large candy because that should do the trick. Ooh, and level up 33. Shit. Echoed voice, no. Life do that could come in handy if it's a double. Oh, it comes with some egg moves. Copycat, seismic toss, pound. Let's go ahead and get rid of defense curl for life do, because life do could come clutch. Sing, let's not do that. 
Fling, let's definitely not do that. Takedown, no. Seismic Toss will do that. No Hill Pulse. Helping Hand, no. Oh, and look, our Chansey is evolving. Should we evolve this, Sean? Should we just let it happen? Or should we cancel it? I'm not opposed or against either one. I know a lot of people have been using Assault Vest uh, Blissey. So, you know, that's a thing. Ah, yeah, screw it. Let it evolve. She has no purpose right now. She's just going to be in the box. So I'm just going to let it evolve. So Miss Thickums is going to the PC. <clears throat> so that means our team pretty much stays the same. Let's go ahead and put these mons back over here. Barbotch. Thickum goes here. Ronaldo over here. And let's put our party Pokemon back in the party so we can go have more fun. Yeah, it's relatively new, this generation, so. Uh, Assault Vest Blissey is a thing. Alright. And, we are going to end it on a cliffhanger here. We are not going to do the gym today. So that means, um, what do you call it? That means you have a chance to sit in more eggs before the next route. For one. And two. Uh, tune in next time. And you will be able to see a double gym feature. So. It'll be a stream so nice. You'll. We'll fight gyms twice. Through Doom. There we go guys. That is our stream for today. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like. Follow if you haven't. Let us get that goal of 100 followers. And share if you would please because that would really help me out here and honestly get us our followers much quicker so hopefully you enjoyed again leave a like follow subscribe on face on youtube and i will see you guys next time